All right, this is one of our cameras here. What you're gonna do first is go ahead and hold in this button on the side. You're gonna hold it in for about five seconds or until the light starts flashing. All right, once the light starts flashing, you can let go of it. This light will flash fast and then it will eventually either fast go slow and then solid or just go solid. Once it goes solid, we'll go over to the app. Once your app is open, go ahead and delete all the video cameras that are no longer working. To do this, above the video, there's a button with three dots and three lines. Go ahead and click that. Then click Delete Device. Confirm the, that you want to delete the device. Do this for each one of your cameras that are no longer working until you get to the screen that says to add a camera to press the plus sign. Uh, and there should be no devices that are no longer working displayed on the screen. Go ahead and press the plus sign and then click Wi-Fi Smart Camera, the first option. Click AP Hotspot Connection, which is the first option. Make sure your Wi-Fi is displayed here and uh, make sure your data is turned off. Just pull down your cellular data and make sure this is turned off. Okay, so your home Wi-Fi is there. Go ahead and enter your Wi-Fi password. Then click Connect the AP App. It's going to take you over to your Wi-Fi setting. Click Wi-Fi. And then you're going to see your camera show up. It's the MV and then the number of your camera. Go ahead and click that. It will then connect to this. You can click uh, onto that and then click Forget This Network. We're going to remove it just in case it was saved here before. And then click Forget. Then we're going to go ahead and just reconnect to it. Simply click the MV and then the camera numbers. Click that connection. Once it's connected to that, you'll see the check mark again. And then go ahead back to the app, the camera app. There will be a working icon in the center of the screen with the, just a spinning icon. It should say connecting. And on your camera, the green LED light that turned on, before it was solid that should now turn off so as it connects and sets this up that will turn off we're going to just wait for this to connect it may take a, a few moments go ahead and name your device or you can click skip if you uh, don't want to name your device if you do name it you can name it and click finish once you do this you'll see your newly added camera go ahead and press the play sign now it will say that it's connecting if it doesn't connect right away or has an error, you may need to wait a minute or two before trying it again. If you continue to have a problem, simply unplug the camera, plug the camera back in, wait two minutes, and then go ahead and try it again. As you can see, this does take a little bit of uh, time here to initiate. Uh, it was unable to find the camera, so I'm gonna click confirm and try it again. I'm going to go ahead and press that play sign again, the play symbol, and it will come up and say you need to set a password for your camera. Go ahead and click set password. Make this something a little bit complex. I'm going to just make mine one, two, three, four, five, six, and the letter A. You can click the little eye icon so you can see your password, make sure you're typing it right, and go ahead and just retype your password. This can be anything you want, but for this demo, I'm just going to make it something simple. And then, um, Go ahead and click confirm at the bottom of the screen. It then saves us to the camera. You're going to see it says internet online and it may then switch to LAN online. Once it says LAN online, you can go ahead and hit the play button and the camera should then load. Now I have it uh, pointed at just a white piece of paper right now. So this camera is online, but this is how it would show up. And then I'm just going to go backwards. And then I'm going to hit play again to go back in and just look at it one more time. It should load somewhat quickly. Sometimes there's a, a slightly brief pause, and there it is again. Now, if your camera is taking a long time to load, all you need to do is delete the camera again and then reset the camera up until it, it works like I showed in this video. And that's how you set up your camera.